Good grief. Hello everybody, this is Ed. How are we all doing today? I've started us all off here in an absolute hot mess. Goodness me, and I don't want to drown right about now. Anyway, while I'm dealing with these guys right here, how is everybody? I hope you're all having an absolutely marvellous day. For some reason that squid wants to shield that baby zombie. That's fine by me. That's okay. Well, the zombie, the baby zombie can stay down there for all I care. But as you see, I'm trying to rescue this zombie villager before the sun comes up. Sorry. It's a weird thing that zombie baby zombies do, I've noticed, is they'll charge at you. And if you move out of the way before they hit you, they tend to stop and get confused. Now, we're not going to have enough time. The sun's coming up. There we go. Okay, that's why I got this bucket of water. I was hoping to keep our zombie villager nice and soaked so he doesn't burn his zombie skin. But it's not working. Come on, back into the water we go. There we go. Somehow I've got to convince him to stay in the water. He doesn't want to stay in the water, though. That's for certain. Come on, keep your toes wet. There we are. It's the only way we're going to get you to survive. And I don't know how many nights I have gone out here into the wild, the wild wilderness trying to... Oh man, he's just determined not to come for me. He's determined to go back onto dry land. Um, I, I spent so many hours just continuously going outside um, looking for a zombie villager at night time, killing... Come on, over here. I'm just... Oh, dearie me. I want him to go back home, but he just doesn't want to go. Um, how many no I Yeah, hours upon hours. And for some reason, zombie villagers just aren't spawning, that's for certain. Anyway, while I dabble with him, oh, now, the last thing I want you to do is to stay underwater and to become a zombie... Not a zombie, a drowned... A drowned. Is that what they're called? A drowned? Okay, he just does not... Okay, we're, we're working a little bit here, piece by piece. I don't know how on earth I'm going to him, get him across the across the plains biome but i've got to figure out some way and i'm hoping i can push him along using the water bucket if i can get behind him that's the only thing i can think of no nope, okay no 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 come on over this way so my goodness me i'm sorry if this video is coming out a bit later than usual i try and have a new video coming out every four days but it's not always that easy with work and uh all that in fact, it's not, it's easier to try and keep the zombie in the water. Come on, buddy, stay in the water. We don't, we don't want you dying, and I'm sure you don't want to die either. Okay, nothing's working here. I'm really stumped. I'm just going to hopefully keep him there and get my strength back up with this lovely carrot. Oh, I did notice that. Just there, there we have ourselves what looks like a little ravine, and I think I know where this spits us out at. But the good news is, if I can get you all the way down here, ooh, all the way down here... I might be- No! Stay in the water, my friend. Come on, my friend. This way. Yes. No, no, no. You're out of the water again. And the bucket doesn't want to cooperate with me either. I need you to just fall down into the ravine. And the good thing is, we'll be in shadows then. And then in the shadows, we can walk all the way, most of the way, there. Until the sun goes down. And ouch, he hit me on the way down. You cheeky boy. Okay, there we go. I think he'll be safe down there. I mean, that zombie's over there, and he seems fine. And you, you can see the village through the unloaded chunk right there, so... Oop, there we are. I knew it was safe, but my heart still jumped into my mouth. Okay, this way. Oh, he caught me on fire. That's okay. Out, 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 out. Oh, oh, no. All that effort for nothing. Goodness me. Well, I didn't have too much luck just then, but... Okay, we have ourselves a little, a little posse, a little, a little gaggle of, uh, you know what, we're going to dump this water because I want to get some milk because I know I'm going to get cursed with the bad omen when I kill the, kill the banner. But, um, okay, let's take out these guys of the yellow just, oh, there's a lot more here than I originally once thought. Okay, shield up. Gotta make sure. Oh, that's good. They're doing all the work for me right about now. The illagers aren't exactly the smartest of the lot, are they? Goodness me. Lucky my shield's doing quite a good job. I don't know if shields are meant to... I think the arrows are glitching. But I would certainly be dead right now if it wasn't for the shield. Okay, there we are. Oh, my sh speaking of which, my shield is, has passed on right now. Well, I took care of them. Look at all the arrows. I survived it. Oh, goodness me. Okay, I've got... I, there's not much I can tell you about what's happened in the last 
minute or so, but essentially there was a zombie raid, and I've got this, I've I've, un, I've unsat my dog to hopefully take care of these zombies while I try and get this zombie villager back to the to the zombie hospital. Oh, skeleton, not now, please look at me, I've only got two and a half hearts. Okay, there we go, okay, good boy, the dog is hopefully taking care of everything that I attack. And, um, come on, I need to get this zombie villager, I think he's an armorer. Or a blacksmith, or whatever they're called. Okay, there we go. Let's get you down through here. Okay, oh no, no puppy dog. No, don't attack him. We need him to be a-okay. No, pup! Pup! Puppy! Okay, I was a little bit upset. I was a little bit upset. The puppy dog killed the zombie villager. But we've come out here, and I've been out here all night, and I found myself two... Two zombie villagers, so I'm getting a bit excited, because I've got... Oh heck, oh no, oh no, 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 sorry, I'm getting a little bit emotional, <laughs> sometimes I forget it's a game, I hope that that creeper didn't just kill those two zombie villagers, I really do. Right, um, I'm having a bit of trouble fighting my stuff and I've been getting hit by a lot of things and my golly, I'm being chased by baby zombies and there are no zombie villagers out here and I'm a little bit, I swear to golly, I wish this game would spawn zombie villages in like it did with baby zombies because these little guys are so fast on their toesies and they do so much damage and oh those are my arrows I'll grab my arrows back um and I just want to grab my stuff back if I could <sighs> my goodness me oh I didn't mean to pick up the flower oh I think I need a little break from this game I'm just gonna go to sleep get the rain to go and get the sun to come up and just go grab my stuff oh dearie me i really need a break oh dear i've had three zombie villagers die after i don't know how many hours of playing waiting for them to spawn in oh and that now i've done all this and i've got some illagers spawning in my village they're trying to move into that house and that's not there for them they they they're the ones that made this place vac vacant all these houses are vacant because of the illagers oh well you know what i'm gonna try and get away from the village so i can kill take care of it. i don't want to say that word uh, so i can take care of this illager and then drink some milk and not start a raid in this despawned village Hopefully, I want to put a wall around this village to protect it, but I don't know if illagers... There we go, there's the curse. I don't know if illagers can spawn within a wall or not. There we go. The good old milk has cured me. I always like to keep milk on me, because milk is my favourite beverage. The amount of milk I drink is enough. I should probably... It would be cheaper for me to own my own dairy cow. I really do think that. I do love milk. Um, so much so, I had to stop drinking. I'm pretty sure there's another illager around here somewhere. I thought there was. Doesn't look like it looks like. Well, that's why I <laughs> killed the poor table. Dearie me. You know what? I need to finish off this roof here. So I'm going to do that. And I need to put down some beds in there. But I'll save that for later. Because it's not the most exciting thing. Making beds. There we go. Let's just finish that off there. We're going to have a lot more houses. And um, one thing I learned. Villagers now reproduce depending on the bed count. And not because of the door count. Which I think is a brilliant idea. Actually, I'm trying to remember, how does this roof go? Oh, XP. I wonder what the XP is doing there. I'm just going to check out. This is a naturally spawned house. Okay, a 5x5 five five brick house. So that's just a simple, um, what you may call it, couple of planks around the top. So we'll go do that right there. Oh, dearie, dearie me. Right, well, I'm just going to fill this house in. Speaking of homes, my distress right now I've had recently of trying to buy a home. Uh, the wife and I, we've been looking at different places around the city. And, um, oh, this place needs to be done as well, the roof. And um, we've been looking at homes and looking at getting a mortgage and the price of homes and, you know, all that stuff. Okay, we're back outside. I'm just practicing my bow and arrow at the moment, trying to get my skills up. Oh, no, sheep. I'm sorry. Oh, that poor sheep. He, did, he was a bodyguard for that. Oh, no. He was a bodyguard for that skeleton. Oh, I've got lamb now. I killed the poor sheep. Okay, we got ourselves a blacksmith or an armorer or whatever like that. And we're going to take him back and we're going to cure this guy. I'm going to cure one zombie villager in this episode. It may... I've been recording this for 
about two hours worth of footage so i'm just going to cut and paste and slice up all the footage that was uh good oh man he tried to hit me in the back naughty boy i'm going to cut and paste all the footage i've got um which i think is relevant uh, i'm going to make sure i definitely clear a pathway so i can take care of um get the zombie safely home without being attacked by anything so while i'm dealing with these guys i'll get back to what i was talking about before i was well the wife and i have been looking at there we go look at that bow and arrow skill the wife and i have been looking at um oh, that's a glitch that's a really annoying glitch how the arrow goes straight through the zombie um through the mob i should say we have been looking at homes and um we're, we're, we're narrowing down the kind of home we want to get and uh Oops, I tried to shoot it over his head and that didn't quite work out. And we were looking at certain different apartments because we can't buy our own home outright. So we're probably going to get an apartment because they're cheaper and uh, all that stuff. And um, so we found ourselves an apartment uh, that we liked or a few that we've liked. And we've got them shortlisted and we're doing, we've do well, we've done the whole pre-approval home mortgage pre-approval thing. And oh my goodness me, I don't trust the banks very much and uh they're such a big dangerous entity i sh should say because uh if we forfeit our mortgage they just take the home and uh that's it we don't have much saving grace after that but if we can pay off the mortgage there we go oh weakened myself that's okay there's your apple we gotta have a new friend in here guy yeah this is good i'm just gonna eat my eat my food Oh, there we go. Okay. So, we got to get this guy downstairs. Hopefully, it's still nighttime and he'll go straight for the bed. Actually, you know, I need to close that off just in case he tries to escape. It is still nighttime, so he should go straight down to a cell. You're in quarantine, my friend. You're still... You're, we're still watching you. Observation to make sure that you're not going to turn back to a zombie. That was easy. There we go. So, yes. Oh, boy. Well... I've almost got this place entirely full. One bed. We've only got one room left. I don't know if I'm going to expand. Well, oh, we've got another, we've got another zombie villager here. So hopefully this will be our last one. And um, I don't know how many more hours I've been recording. I've lost track. So I'm just going to get this guy back home, and I think that's going to be it. I can see zombies on the horizon. As soon as they smell me, grab my arrows. As soon as they smell me, they're going to come for me. So. Oh dear me! What's with the what's with the skeletons? Okay, I'm getting getting anxious. I'm doing that thing now where I get nervous and shoot in between the mobs and don't actually go for the mobs. Oh dear me! Okay, I'm just going to take care of all the badness around. I don't know what happened to that arrow before. Okay, I'm getting shot. I'm getting killed, and uh, well, I'm getting hurt. And uh, oh, zombies, skeletons, I should say, are fighting each other. And um, where is he? come to realize that I just had to run over here because I was getting the absolute snot kicked out of me by skeletons and their bows and arrows. I think the zombie villager went through the nether portal, in which case then I'm going to have to investigate to see if he's in there. But um, as I was saying before, I'm very excited about owning my own place and we're, we're, it's a matter of maybe a week or two off from actually having everything finalized and buying the property that we want. Granted, we have enough money, uh, enough of a loan, but from everything, all the talking we've done with certain banks, we'll have more than enough, and then we'll have a home. I should say we'll have a home being paid off to the bank. Technically, the bank owns it. Well, we have the money that's just on loan to us. Well, we'll see what things are like on the other side of the portal. I'm hoping he's gone through. Just just that zombie villager and not much else. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, we got a skeleton. We've got a baby zombie, I think, and a regular... Sorry, and a zombie villager. We do. Oh, heck. Okay, let's take care of Speedy Gonzales. Oh, dear, I hit the zombie villager. Dearie me. That was my stressed, quiet voice. All right, we're going to use the bow. There we go. I know I can use the, the axe. Someone pointed that out. Actually, I think it was a good friend, Ace, that um, pointed that out to me before. Okay, I'm going to have to squeeze by you here. I'm going to have to eat some bread because there's a creeper over there. And if I don't take care of that creeper, we might have a problem on our hands. So I'm just going to rush ahead. Let's get the pre-shot ready. Mm, nothing. Come on, where are you? Ah, you snuck up there. There we go. Oh, okay, great. That 
this creeper is taken care of. Now I've got to get the zombie villager back through the portal so I can treat him back home in the hospital. The zombie zim, zombie villager hospital. Come on. Go through. Did you go through? Looks like you did. Time for me to go back. Actually, I should have healed first before I, before I went back. That's okay. We'll just have to... Oh, that's where the skeleton went. No wonder I couldn't find him. I thought maybe the baby zombie killed him, but I guess not. Right. Well... There's a lot of badness out here right now, and, um, oh my goodness me, I'm in a bit of a strife and a bit of trouble right now. Oh, dearie, dearie, dear. You know what, I'm just going to keep moving back, I'm going to take care of everything. Oh, we got some uh, Endermen, they, they're they neutral, they, they mean me no harm. There we are. I'm more worried about the skeletons taking care of me. But we really need to make sure that we've got enough villages to repopulate this village. Even though I think that they would respawn now. Uh, sorry, reproduce with each other. If I did release the, I think, six that I've got in there. Five or six. I, I'm just not too sure. I lost count. I think it's five, actually. In we go. Hallelujah. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Lovely. That's an absolute blessing right there. I'm not going to worry about the... You know what? Yes, I am. I'm going to take care of him because I don't want him groaning up above ground and striking the fear into my villagers as they rest peacefully in their cell. Okay, another zombie village we get to treat. And we'll grab the stuff that we need to convert. There we are. Let's see if I can... Nope, I still weakened myself. Okay, we got him cured. I figured we don't need to have to deal with watching him go through the whole thing all over again so i just need to get him into the room before i finish recording this episode but for some reason for some reason it's it's beyond night time and so he doesn't want to go for a bed come on i wish i could lure villagers with emeralds or diamonds but that doesn't seem to be the case so i'm just gonna try and push you come oh dearie me you know what i think a bit of reverse psychology is in order so wait, hang on. Wait, no, no, if this... He's just mirroring me, yep. So if I come down here, let's see if reverse psychology will work. I like it down this end. Do you want to go down that way? I don't believe it. It is reverse psychology. He's going to go in. Okay, let's block this off so he can't go any further. Nope, nope, nope. You cheeky boy. Goodness me. Okay, look, I'm back down in the, the uncool end. Are you going to go down to the cool end? Halfway. Okay, so you're only half cool, I guess. No, you just, oh boy, oh boy, now he's trying to prove that my reverse psychology does not work. Maybe he just wants to be friends with the guys still in quarantine. Oh, now he's getting closer and closer to me. Well, I don't know what, you, what, what you're playing at, buddy old friend. Certainly not making it easy for me. Oh, sorry, I was trying to stifle a yawn and talk at the same time. Deary me, he really is putting up a fight. Okay, or she, I should say, t testificates, I think, have no... There we are. Uh, I think, I think that, I think this villager knew that once I was, I wasn't playing a game when I put up the cobblestone. Anyway, I think that's enough for me here on out. Take care, everybody. Good night. Take care. Goodbye. Look after yourselves.